Hello everyone and welcome back to Hellstorm Wargaming and if it's not welcome back then consider subscribing because sometimes I do do hobby videos like this and because yeah <laughs> well that was a lot of shit. do consider subscribing so next time it is welcome back because that'd be really cool and it'll help my ego we're very close to 20k we're like really really close to 20,000 subscribers and I'd love to hit 20k before 2020 is over so we can be the true channel of 2020 20. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I did a conversion recently and a lot of people were interested to see how it works. However, a lot of people who play Necrons have a bunch of these lying around. This is the Canoptech Reanimator from the Indomitus box set. And you still can't buy this off the shelf, but these used to be really good and then the codex came out and made them really bad. God damn you all to hell! So I had a whole bunch of these because I had like three Indomitus sets and then I saw on, it was in the Necron Facebook group and I saw it on Instagram as well, a user called Sanguine Day. He'd actually converted one into a Canoptex binder, which I really liked. And I actually spoke to him and I was like, can I make a video tutorial of what you've done? And he was like, yeah, go for it. So I think he might have got the idea from someone else, but we don't know who that is. because I think it was on Reddit or something. But this is a video on how to make this a little bit more useful into a spider. So here are all the parts in the reanimator and you are going to need every single one. We're going to start with the body. You're just going to need a knife and you need some pliers. And we're going to take off the top like rib type light thing. Anything we do cut off, we're pretty much going to need. Uh, so don't get rid of them, but we need to take this off the top because this is going to be put in a different place in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the neck as well so you're just going to clip the neck at the base on both sides again don't throw it away we're going to need it i'm going to be saying that a lot put them to one side and then what we're going to do is we're going to take off the little arms as well because we're going to reposition those later so we're just going to like cut on the inside of the seam So I cut along one clip on each side and then you can usually like like twist it and turn it a little bit and let the plastic snap naturally. We're going to do but the same on both sides. You don't have to do this step but I do because I like to rearrange them at the end. Then we're going to take the two sections of the legs. We're going to need the top part like the rib cage. And then we're going to need the bottoms of the legs. So we're going to make four cuts here. So there's actually some grooves that we're just going to cut into on here. Giggity, giggity. And snip each side. Again, keep this part. Then we're going to do is going to take, take the clippers and we're just going to clip the bottoms of the legs off. And this piece is the first piece that we don't actually need. So you can get rid of that. You can put that in your bits box. But then what we're going to do is going to clip the terrain basey bits off the legs as well. Cutting them as close to the terrain as we can. Try and get like a nice neat cut where we can. And then this terrain piece, we can reuse that later if you want to, but that is not needed for the conversion. So we're going to do that on both sides once again. And then we're left with this. Magic. <laughs> so these are all the pieces we've got now. This is everything we're going to use. We're going to build the body first. So we can actually glue the body together as normal. There are some pegs that hold it together. This is like the bulk of the conversion. So once we've glued it together, what we're going to do is we're going to clip off some of the pegs that go in, that hold the, I'm going to call it a ribcage, that hold the ribcage on, because we're actually going to do a little bit of bending the plastic and putting it where it doesn't really want to go. But what we're going to do is we're going to put them back onto the body where they would normally go, but backwards. So in reverse, so we're going to have the ribcage sticking backwards, and that's going to make up the butt of the spider. I don't know what, the, what it's called, but... We're going to glue that on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to line it up on the, the two pegs that would normally go into the body. We're going to clip those off, just the end pieces. And we're actually going to glue those together. And again, this is where like a little bit of a jiggery pokery, we call it, where we start bending the plastic and then using, hoping the plastic glue sets in time so we can actually hold it in place. 
So if it doesn't dry, or it ho hopefully it dries, we need either Castellan's hand. So this is off the Admech model that's on the base, and this is one of the most important pieces. So we're going to cut the back bit off with all the wires hanging off, and then in this little like vent or exhaust or something, the Admech hand fits perfectly to actually hold up and support the bum of the spider. It sits at a nice angle. And then if you put some glue down, it actually like holds the back piece. Like that bit we're trying to get to stick together, it holds it up and also supports it because you're gluing it on as well. Then we're going to take the armor pieces and we're going to stick them on. Again, essentially backwards, but the, the right way on the rib cage. And then this is this is the butt of the spider. It's starting to look a little bit different. This is looking like kind of like closer to the end product now. So then we're going to take the old top part, the antenna or whatever. We're going to clip off a bit of the um, wires that we left on earlier. And this is essentially going to hold all the back piece together. So we're going to jam some glue in there and then run glue on the inside of the armor panels. And then we're essentially going to squeeze it all together. Make sure, Try and get it lined up, but squeeze it and then let it dry. And then we're left with this. We've got a spider body now. Here we are. We're ready to go. Before we go on to the legs, we're actually going to stick the neck and head together. So we're going to put the pieces we clipped off earlier, we're going to glue them together. And we're going to glue the head in as well. We're just going to do this now just so it dries. So we're left with the neck, so we'll leave that to one side for now. But we're going to work on the legs. So this leg is the most awkward one because of the positioning, but the other legs go on pretty easily. The reason is, is because it sticks out so far. So we left on the ball joints, and what we're going to do is we're going to have to flatten it down on one side. I and mean, essentially, depending where you put the flat part of the ball joint is how it's going to fit onto the model. And that'll create the angles of the legs. And this is where you can like really start making them look quite unique. But essentially, if you look at the base of the bottom of this model, it has like two rectangles. And that's where you're going to be fitting the legs at the top of the bottom of the rectangle. And that keeps the spacing all equal. So if you flatten one side down, use your clippers, use your knife. And then we're just going to jam some glue and then hold it there. And then hopefully it'll dry. 12 seconds later. So once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to like work out where we want the leg to sit and then we're going to like cut the ang cut the ball of the joint to an angle where it actually sits how it in a position we like. So I want this like this front left leg up over so it can climb over something. So I've cut it at a, a sharp angle and then it'll sit in a position I want it to. So this one's the most awkward because it doesn't sit right in any position. So we actually have to cut it. So you can cut the whole pipe off the bottom off if you want to. I leave them on and I just clip them down. So essentially, I'll make, make some snips and I'll clip the pipes down a little bit. And then I'll do a very similar cut that I did to the reanimator arms earlier. Earlier, <laughs> And then we can kind of like choose the position that we want. We'll, we'll clip the pipes down. And these will actually sit and help support the leg. They don't sit in the correct place, but it's like close enough that people won't notice. Or I won't notice. You can clip them off if you want to. So then we have a leg that we can actually use. So we'll leave that one to dry. We'll go back to the other one we've got left. Sometimes it doesn't fit properly because there's not enough space. So what I've done is like cut out a right angle so it fits around the rectangle on the bottom and it just sits better. Again, you can't really see this. You can fill it with a bit of green stuff if you want to. I'm not going to bother. You don't really look underneath the model. So once that's set, we're going to do exactly the same to the other one. Cut it at a nice angle. Stick the other leg back on because it keeps falling off. Cut it at an angle and then cut a right angle out of it as well, just with the with the clippers. And then glue that on in there. And then there you go. You've got four legs. I know it's not it's not eight legs. You've got six legs at the end of it, but if you want to put more on, then go buy another reanimator. <laughs> so then we're just gonna re reattach the reanimator arms. They were a bit low down, I found, if you didn't cut them off. So I cut them and then reposition them a little bit higher. Then we're going to take the neck and we're going to clip it with some clippers. We're going to leave on like two segments of the main neck. But depending where you cut this is kind of like how you angle the neck as well. And how you make it look a bit different. And then we glue that onto the front. And we put the arms back on. And that is the conversion done. 
It's easy as that. So that's like, that's how you make the Canoptech reanimator into a spider. It's either so you don't have to waste reanimators, or you can be completely mad like me and have like a whole bunch of reanimator spider conversions because you want to run nine spiders. <laughs> On the other ones, I've actually gone a little bit further, so I didn't want to conclude in this tutorial. But if you have any spare Triocopatorian backs, I actually use like the ribs and cut them down to turn them into mandibles for the face. So they looks again looks more spider like. But yeah, I'm I'm really chuffed with these conversions. They're like really easy to do. Again, reanimators are like really really cheap to get hold of because no one wants them because everyone thinks they're bad. And I, and in rules wise, they are bad. But if you can turn them into Canoptic spiders and run nine of them, I mean, it's pretty spicy. <laughs> the other great thing about this conversion is you're left with the old. This is where the ribs used to fit through this little hole here. So the rib section used to like clip in through there. What you can actually do, I've actually drilled that out to three mil. So I can put some three mil magnets in there and then the particle casters from the Tomb Blade kit actually fit in here so that you can get, actually give them all guns. So if you get yourself some Tomb Blade guns, some particle casters, take all the bits off, stick some magnets and you'll be able to magnetize the guns on as well. But that's it. That's how you make reanimators useful. That's how you make Canoptech spiders really cheap. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. If you've got any questions about the conversion itself, then do let me know in the comments. I'll try and answer as soon as I can. Are you going to be making some reanimators out of spiders? Reanimators out of spiders. Are you going to be making some spiders out of reanimators? Let me know in the comments. Like, let me know your Instagram and share them and tag me on Instagram or tag me on Twitter if you want to share them that way. I'd really love to see them. Let me know how many Spencers you can make because I have seven Spencers now. If you like this video, then do like it. If you disliked it, then let me know why and leave a dislike. Why not? That's what it's there for. If you like this sort of content, then let me know because I'd love to make more of it as well. Look at this graph. As you can see, only 50% of you are subscribed so far, roughly. So let's uh, let's uh, let's sort that out. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you had a lovely time. I had a lovely time explaining how to do it. And hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one now and bye-bye.